Hello there, Carpologist. I'm Joe, and today we're going to be taking a look at the K Pulse mainline from Codex. Now this line has been designed, developed and tested by some expert anglers to create what they believe is the best all-round main line. It comes in three different strengths, you've got a 12 pound, 15 pound and 18 pound and it claims to be good at quite a multitude of things. So firstly, it's high abrasion resistance, it's also got a high knot strength, it's fast sinking but the main thing that they claim is that it's a cast assist main line so it's going to help you cast greater distances. The line is made of a fast sinking copolymer and is extruded to have a non-flash satin silk finish. Now those two things combined means that it actually glides through the eyes much smoother, less resistance equals more yards on your cast. The natural colour of the line is a burnt amber which if you look at it on the sport looks rather dark but if you pull out a single strand and hold it up against the light it actually looks quite light in colour so very clear in the water and virtually undetectable. All of the spools come in a thousand meter capacity, so there's no need to buy multiple spools when loading up your reels. Last night I loaded up these three and they took 18 pounds, which is a 0.33, filled them all up to the max and didn't run out. It still had lines spare at the end, so I wasn't skimping on each reel to make sure it made it all the way. It covered them all plenty and still some left. So that's the basics of the line, but the key selling point is that it's a cast assist main line. It says it on here, so we're going to put it to the test. I'm going to despool one of the reels and load it up with a competitor's line, which is also 18 pound brake and strain, and see what distance I can get on each of them. So the reel's going to stay the same, rod's going to stay the same, I'm going to do three casts of each, average them out and see whether this does help me cast further. So I'm all set for the cast and distance test and everything's going to be staying the same apart from the line. So I've got a three and a half ounce lead to a three and a half pound test curve of rod and the reels are staying the same. I'm going to make three casts on each, wrap them out, take an average and see which does better. Twenty one and a half. 21 and a quarter, it's consistent. The results of the competitor's line come in at just over 21 wraps on average, which is only 84 yards. So even by my standards, that's pretty pitiful. Uh, so let's see how much of that is just my cast ability or whether it's a lot down to the line. So I'm gonna make three casts with the K-Pulse line and see if we can boost those numbers on these conditions. Twenty-four. Twenty-five, so it's another wrap. Twenty-five and a half. Well the results of the casting distance test, pretty obvious, but I'll read them out anyway. The competitor's line was an average of 21 wraps, which is an average of 84 yards, whereas the K-Pulse equivalent 18-pound line came in at an average of 25 wraps, which is an average of 100 yards. So for these conditions today, cast into quite a stern headwind, it did help me cast further, so it does exactly as it says it should. So there we go, we're looking to the K-Pulse main lines. We've got 12 pound, 15 pound and 18 pound, and they all come in 1,000 meter spools. Now you can pick these up for 14.99 each. That price may vary slightly depending on where you go. But for more information, please visit the Codex website. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.